morning everyone it's thursday and it's half six we're just setting off to the hospital with eleanor in the back there say hi hi oh, she's hiding yeah so as you can see it's still a bit dark and it's quite cold today what's the temperature uh, four four degrees and it looks cloudy as well not like it's going to be nice like it has been over the last few days so we'll show you when she gets there Rob's just trying out the um, crutches what? you haven't been yet have you love? still waiting are you colouring in to keep herself occupied? is she a bit fed up now? a bit bored? Rob's bored, that's why he's playing with crutches. Thank Marvin. Stop, Mum's already been tormenting me. She went downstairs and had the cheese toast or whatever. I said I like it like that. I said I like it like that. We just come to see my mum because Eleanor wanted to come. I want that to be cat. Put your foot up. This is the pot. Mum's got her this mm -hmm. basket of fruit. Oh, darling. So, one of our lovely followers, Carol, sent this for Eleanor. She'd been really excited about this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's what to put in your bag. Oh gosh, that's Sorry, nice. Sorry, I'm not a little bit more joyful. It's just my foot's killing. Oh, eye mask. That's I good, isn't these. it? I think you put them under your eyes. Oh, it's a Disney one. That's yeah. nice. And then some body lotions, Apple body lotion. Gosh. Wait, let me just open this. What one. is it? It's a makeup set. I just want to. Can I have some lemonade? Um, can I have some lemonade, please? Oh, look, it's a little makeup thing. Oh, wow. Let me see how to open it. Oh, oh. Mm, I don't know how to open this. Oh, how nice, Whoa. are they? I think it pulls out. Well, nice. What is this? I'm not sure. You have to have Lip a gloss. Oh yeah. And then so eye pencil, and then the things to put it on with, and then What's lip that? balm. Oh, that's These lovely. Nails are well nice. Oh, this is a. What's that? Oh, it's some. I think it's some makeup. Um. Some brushes. What do you say to Carol? Thank you so much. Thank you, Carol. Okay, let me really just open appreciate it so that. Can see. Look at this, guys. So I think these eyebrow and this the. Well, these are well nice things, isn't it? They? Yeah, that's yeah. lovely. Oh, is this isn't that nice? Yeah. Thank you. This is a pot. She's already oh, done a little drawing. Is that oh. to put like put your hair back when you're having a putting your makeup on? I just think it's. It smells like apple. Does it? It's not. I will do it. Yeah. Oh, it does, doesn't it? And How are you lucky? Just... Yeah, thank you so much. A ba big basket of fruit from my mum and dad. Oh, you got a coconut in there, Eleanor. Oh, yeah. Hi everyone, so I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody for sending well wishes for Eleanor. I've read quite a lot of them out to her and it's really made her smile, so really appreciate all your well wishes. And it makes it makes us keep going really, because obviously we get quite a lot of hatred um, and criticism. So having all you lovely people that give us so, such nice comments, it makes us keep going, so thank you. Eleanor, I'll tell you a little bit more about the surgery yesterday. So we were there, had to be in for 7am. Um, fortunately, Eleanor didn't get to go into surgery till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So she was getting more and more stressed out, um, bless her. Tried to keep her calm and also she hadn't been able to eat anything since the night before. 
so she she was really really hungry and not had anything to drink apart from a sip of water in the morning so uh, when she finally went down at two o'clock she kind of got herself a little bit stressed out because there was another little girl on the ward that was quite anxious and stressed who had to have some sedation and you know what it's like if somebody else gets anxious and stressed it makes you get stressed too but she was really brave and I'm so proud of her um luckily you can go into the anaesthetic room with the children so you're there whilst they um put the cannula in and basically till they fall asleep um and then they let you know when she's in recovery um when she woke up she was in quite a bit of pain so they gave her some more morphine through the cannula in her hand um which did deal well with the pain but she said she was getting a really tight chest and she felt like she couldn't breathe properly. Um, so they had to monitor her heart rate and the heart rate was going all over. But it did settle down after a few hours. Um, and she had something to eat and drink. Which she really wanted to stuff herself. But when you've had an anaesthetic they don't advise you to have too much because it can just make you sick. Because obviously you've had all those medications going into your system very powerful medications you don't want to be overloading your stomach um and Eleanor hates she's got quite a fear of being sick anyway so she just had a little bit to eat last night made her some um pancakes with Nutella this morning with strawberries which she'd been um asking for so I thought yeah let's let her have a nice little treat for her breakfast she deserves it um she has been in pain today but She's coped pretty well. She's hobbling around on her crutches. Um, I think she quite likes having the crutches and as the day's gone on, she's kind of got better on them. Um, she's a bit wobbly at first. So she's doing really well and bit by bit, day by day, hopefully the pain will go. She's getting, I think it's getting quite swollen up inside the cast. Um, she got to keep that on for three weeks. Um, and then we would go back to the clinic and I think they take it off because they, they, we've not seen the wound underneath so we don't know how big the incision is yet. But obviously they've got to check that everything's okay with that and I don't know whether they put another cast on or not. So I just thought I'd update you all because um, I know a lot of you have been asking and concerned and we really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Like we said to Carol, who sent us a lovely gift for Eleanor. She's so grateful and she's it's really made her happy. Um, so as soon as she's a bit more mobile, she'll be putting all those treatments and things on her face and doing her makeup. So thank you for that. That's all for today. Uh, hopefully we'll be vlogging. We won't be doing a lot this weekend. I am actually working on Sunday and tomorrow is Saturday, but... Eleanor is not going to really be up to doing much at all, so we might not be putting a vlog up. And thank you for everybody that said they do want to see um, Smug Sarah. I am thinking about maybe doing it on a different channel, making another channel for that. Because some people like the family vlogs and they don't like the Smug Sarahs and vice versa. Um, so maybe we might put a different channel up, but I will let you know about that. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and um, follow us on Instagram. We do put pictures up. I put a picture of Eleanor with a pot on there and various things. So um, have a look for us, Unique Farm Official, I think it's called. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good weekend.